So this absolute topper, I'll call a lifeboat. And I call it the lifeboat because it's pretty much unsinkable. Um, there's a lot going on here and a lot of it's very buoyant. It's great for searching in fast water, also good for under trees, but originally it was designed as a, a dual fly to suspend anything underneath it because it is pretty much unsinkable. Great fly um, and one that's worked really well. Pretty much everywhere I've fished it. I dare say there's other flies that look like this. This is just one of mine's. So let's go ahead and tie it. I start off with a, a big dry fly hook. And that one is an SLD 2 partridge size 10. And then all I'm going to do is create a bit of tying thread all the way down. And then all I do is stop there, bring the thread back up. Coming up and getting a good bit of thread in there. Then I've got this stuff, it's basically a craft foam, tan craft foam, and I've got about a quarter of an inch thick, I've got about a quarter of an inch thick, and what I do is I shape the edges, just get a little angle like that, and then all I do is stick a lighter on it, and it just smooths off the edges in the foam. Like so. And then what we do is take your thread right back down, right all the way down, and then tie this in, leaving about a quarter of an inch out the back of the fly. Take your thread drops into the same bit three or four times, probably more than three or four there, so you've got that. To stop this spinning, come round like you would with a clink hammer, and just, and that stops that spinning, it keeps it straight on the hook. I've now got a dubbing mix, uh, squirrel, rabbit, a lot of guard hairs, and that's I'm gonna use that as my body. Coming up. Not too much. I'm gonna stop. If you were tying a nymph where the thorax would be, and push the foam over. And really bed that in. In with my scissors, trim that. And I'm just going to tidy up this area here. Really tight thread drops. Like that. There you go. Once I'm sitting perfect. So my next part for this is. Oh, I thought I had it. Is sulfur yellow. I prefer yellow because it just it, it. You can see it in white water. You can see it in dark water, and it's what's it called? Ultra dry yarn. I don't need a lot. That's just one thickness. I'm not going to double double or anything. Straight off the the spool, and then all he does come up. Right on that join. Two or three wraps just to secure it. And then tie it in like a clink. So you're starting to build a post. Forgive me, I've got my, my light directly above this. Doesn't it help you guys? So I've created a post there. We're, we're going to bolster this in a second. So I've got a feather. This is a a genetic cape, so everything's nice and pristine. So I've got a, a feather that I think is going to suit the fly, the width. And then all you do is come in with your feather, 
secure that side and then bring the stem up. It's on my side, but I bring the stem up and I use that as a support as well when I'm tying the fly. So got the stem in there as well. Trim away the waste. And then just bring this feather fibre up. We're wrapping turns. Bring in your hackle up this post as well. There you go. And then I come in again with my dubbing. Quite generous here. And I'm going to get a really tight dubbing rope and I'm going to start at the eye coming back from the eye right up against the post and around the other side tying a little bit more there tight 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 around that side and I sit with my thread facing me the reason for that is because I've got to start tying the post in now um, and that's the way I do it so, working for the top, I could have done my longer bit of yarn actually, down. I can't see very well, unless I turn it at an angle, but that looks okay. I'm just got to quickly check, turn it at an angle, yeah, that's fine. Some securing turns in there. And then I'm going to trim this feather fibre away. So, so there you go, you can see them there. Now you can, if you wish, get a little bit more dubbing. But to be fair, the thread, because it's a light car hill, it'll actually go through the dubbing and bed in. But just lift your hackle round a couple of times to the eye, pull everything back, and then just tidy off at the eye. like so, come in and snip that. So there's your, your um, hackle done. Now what I just need to do is separate the fibres, should make that a tiny bit longer, and then you come in this quarter inch and snip. And that, like so, is your pretty much unsinkable. I guess I'll call it a dinghy. Come in with your you can if you wish add a little bit of varnish but to be fair that will not come out. And that's a great fly for poply water um, for bringing fish up. It'll also work really really well as a, a geo dry fly. I really hope you enjoyed that folks. If you did Please be kind enough to subscribe to my channel. Far more fly fishing and fly time videos in here. Take care and bye bye.